just got back from Walgreens and the dollar store, which, oh my God, I love being able to just, ow, to just walk down the street, be able to go get something from Walgreens if I need to, get something from the dollar store if I need to, get something from the corn stuff. Like, I love living in this neighborhood. Um, But anyway, I went and got uh, the last thing I needed for Michael when she goes to daycare tomorrow, which was a box of Kleenex. She has everything else because she needs to change her shoes, a change of clothes, pull-ups for the day, um, stuff like that. And then um, I just had to go to the dollar store and get some more cleaning items for the house because we ran out of like Comet and toilet bowl cleaner and stuff. And I got myself some eco styler gel because I ran out of gel a long time ago and jam just does not do it. You don't do nothing. Eco styler, I swear by eco styler gel. That's the only thing that's going to lay my edges for me. The only thing. Period. And stay laid and not sweat out and not have to even put a scarf on it for it to be laid. I can just brush it down. But yeah, I got some of that because I actually I'm gonna do my hair. Um I'm high. I don't know why I put this fucking sweater on. I thought it was chilly outside. But um my hair is banded underneath this, so it's I'm just letting it dry and then once it's dry, like later, later tonight, I'm going to flat twist it up into some a row of bantu nuts and then just flat twist the rest straight back. She must be ready to eat. We're about to go eat. We're about to go eat. Good morning. Let's get Michael ready for daycare. I wonder do I have to include white? I'm gonna have to let's see one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I hope they don't use all eight of these because she don't need eight for real. But I get her some extra. I'm going to write her name on her cup. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'll put it on her jacket too. Alright, so Kleenex, pull up, cup. So I just gotta get change of shoes and change of clothes. Why are you taking your jacket off? Michael, we gotta go in like two minutes. You look so cute. <laughs> so I couldn't record when I dropped her off, obviously, but she was just like super chill and just like walking around and exploring and stuff. I couldn't go inside because you know they have COVID restrictions and stuff right now. Um, so I was just in between those double doors, but yeah, she wasn't looking sad at all. So I think that made it easier for me because I thought I was going to cry, but I didn't. I was just happy to see her like looking around and stuff. <laughs> And then the teacher was like, okay, mom, you can go. I'm like, okay, bye. Bye, guys. Have fun, baby. And that was that. Um, and then they sent me an update on her report, like, like 45 minutes later. They said her, her pull-up was dry. Um, it showed me what she ate for breakfast. And um, it said her mood was cooperative. So that's a good sign. I just put some mousse on my my hair because it was very frizzy. I wasn't going to mousse it at first, but I'm like, okay, it's definitely necessary. But anyway, so um, finished my hair, did Michael's laundry. I'm going to have to go back tomorrow and do my laundry because I didn't feel like carrying one bag. I would have to put one bag in the stroller and carry the other one in my hand. But yes, I, I did her laundry. That was the most important thing because she needs clothes to go back and forth to daycare. Like all her stuff was dirty. I was struggling to find her a change of outfit this morning that was actually like acceptable to wear outside the house. So I got all her laundry done. 
Um, now I'm cleaning up. I took the trash out. I'm about to wash the dishes and clean the kitchen and then clean our rooms and the bathroom. And then it is gonna be time to go and pick her up. The day flew by. They sent me pictures of her eating lunch. And she had a little tear streak and some snot. <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> my poor baby going through it. And then it was nap time at 12 for two hours. But then at like one, they sent me pictures of her outside on the playground <laughs> by herself. There were no other kids out there. So I'm like, oh, she must have been crying while all the little kids was trying to sleep. But I'm just like, they they said themselves it was going to be a two to three week adjustment. So they're probably used to this. But I'm just like, oh, my poor baby. I wonder how she's going to react when I go to pick her up. You like mommy's hair? Don't look so mean. I'm sorry I left you at daycare. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm letting her watch her show since she's at school learning all day. She's eating her favorite blackberries and I gave her granola bar because I low-key forgot, forgot to ask them. My head looks big from this angle. Oh my god. But I forgot to ask them how she did with eating her food because they sent me pictures of her, you know, in front of her food and she was like drinking out of her cup. But I don't know if she actually ate any of it. Um, so I'm gonna make sure I ask them how, like, how she's doing with the food. But I decided to give her a snack just in case. She is acting like she hungry, so. Yeah. She uh, cried the whole time, according to one of the teachers. And she was like, I'm not even her teacher. I had to go get her out of her classroom because she, she won't come to anybody but me now. I'm like, oh, God. I definitely saw in the picture that she was crying during nap time. Like the, and the teacher said, yeah, she's probably tired because she didn't sleep. I'm like, yeah, I figured. <laughs> but it was only the first day. The, the teacher was like, did she take a bottle? And I was like, no. She was like, hmm. Like she was trying to figure out what's wrong with the girl. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, she just, this is her first time ever being around other little kids and, you know, being away from home because she's been with me all day every day since she was born, so. It's going to be about a few more weeks of this, hopefully, no more than that, because they probably going to kick her ass out this morning now, but it'll get better. I hope she don't cry when I drop her off tomorrow, now that she knows <laughs> where I'm leaving her. Y'all, she's eating with a spoon, which she does not do, by the way. I just <laughs> randomly decided to just stick the spoon in there and let her figure out how to get it out herself. And I'm sure she saw some other little kids using spoons today, cause they gave her a spoon, but you know, she doesn't use the spoon, so. No, use the spoon, mama. Do what you were doing, here. Use the spoon. There you go. I mean, obviously she hasn't perfected it, but <laughs> this is good, good job. That applesauce looks yummy. Thank you.